when you're on the phone with a prospect, how long do you expect to stay on the phone? Great question. So you're saying when I take a call, how long do I expect to be on the call with that person? Is that the question? Yes. Okay. Just out of curiosity, why do you ask the question? Is it that if we stay on the phone longer, it's a better call? If we stay on the phone shorter, it's a worse call? What's kind of your reasoning for asking that question? And it's a great question, by the way. I'm just curious. Because we get a lot of calls. Mm-hmm. And we, if we're, there's only two of us in the office right now. So if we're both on the phone and the phone continues ringing because we're on the phone for 20 minutes with each prospect and we're, we're missing people because of that. Yeah. So with the phone training at Leasing University, there may be some times where you're on the phone for 20 minutes. Okay. But that should be one in every three or 4,000 calls that you get. Unfortunately, people try to provide great service and they veer away from the phone training that I teach and they do 80% of the talking instead of the renter doing most of the talking and they basically create this mini website sales pitch. We're a Lead Green certified community. We're in this particular school district. We've got these features, these features, these features. I got a three bedroom, a two bedroom, a one bedroom, a studio. Um, We've got a pool. The pool's got chlorine in it. The pool is maintained uh, three times a week by a guy named Javier. He's awesome. He's great. Um, We've got great residents here. We're a pet friendly community. And they just go on and on and on about their community, right? Instead of, what research have you done on us? Oh, I saw you guys online. Uh, you know, it looks great. Perfect. It, just out of curiosity, uh, where are you living at right now? Oh, I'm in, uh, I'm in, down the street at uh, Terrible Towers. What's your biggest reason for moving? Uh, my roommate, Todd, he is uh, incredibly annoying. Uh, I'm either going to murder him or move out um, because the guy doesn't sleep. Uh, he's playing video games all night long. I haven't got a good night's sleep in a long time. Got it. Man, that sounds terrible. What's most important in the new place besides Todd not being there? Uh, kitchen. When you say kitchen, what is it about the kitchen? I just want room to kind of cook because I I like to cook. Todd doesn't. Um, Right now I got dirty dishes wherever I'm at. Plus it's old stanky appliances and the countertops are really tiny. Got it. It makes perfect sense uh, because of the fact that you mentioned kitchen and you want to be in a one bedroom so you've got your own place. uh, I need to look at my availability. but I, I think I might have the perfect place to show you. Can you meet me here today? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can meet you here today. You're going to find that most of the time we're creating these long conversations because we just want to keep talking. You should figure out this. Here's the minimum that you should figure out. And you can figure this out in two minutes. Okay. W- what research have they done on you guys? What's their biggest reason for moving? Yet nobody asks that. It's crazy. This is like if you could only ask one question, just ask that. Right? Why is that? What do they want to see first when they get here? Why do they want to see that first? Okay? And then schedule the tour. That's it. Should take less than three minutes. Two minutes on average. It's a great day at Meadows. What can I get you information on? Hey, I'm calling about availability. Availability? Yeah, I think I need a a one bedroom. You think you need a one bedroom? Yeah, I got this crazy roommate, Todd. He's horrible. He keeps me up all night. Oh man, that, that sounds terrible. What research have you done on us? I saw you guys online. I love the location. It's right across the street uh, from where I work. Um, I saw that you guys do have uh, one bedrooms available. Uh, perfect. Uh, just, just out of curiosity, what's your biggest reason for moving? It, well, it would, be, it would be Todd. Got it. What else is important to you? Uh, kitchen. Why is that? Um, I, I really like to cook. I haven't been able to cook because Todd's a slob. Uh, man makes makes perfect sense. What do you want to see first when you get here? Um, dog park. Got it. Just out of curiosity, why do you want to see a dog park first? That's another thing that I hate about where I'm living right now. I'm right next to the dog park and I use that term loosely. It's pretty much just a bunch of rabid golden retrievers and rottweilers and every time I open my door and Todd leaves the door open all the time, I get dogs running in my place and I'm horribly allergic to dogs. I'm hoping you guys have a one bedroom that's away from the dog park. Man, make, makes makes perfect sense. Uh, you know, I think I've got the perfect place to show you. Can you meet me here today? Yeah, yeah, I can be there at three. Perfect. Listen, if you're if we're back to back on tours today, I'm super slammed. Everybody wants to live here. 
I'm gonna move things around, either Maddie or myself uh, will tour you at three. If for any reason, um, I'm, I'm running late, which I won't be, but if I am, we're talking a, a couple minutes. What's your mobile number, Matt, so I can text you, let you know, so you're not killing yourself trying to get here. Uh, it's 303-803-7372. Perfect. Uh, along those same lines, if you're running late, which is perfectly okay, can you give us a buzz and, and let either Maddie or myself know so we can continue to work with the person in front of you and we're not kind of rushing them out the door and having them sign their lease quickly? Oh, no, no problem. Yeah, I'll do that. Perfect, right? This is two minutes. And you've gotten their mobile number, you've set an appointment, you've locked it in that everybody wants to live there, that it's busy. They're never gonna be late to that tour because you said, hey, we're back to back to back on tours. If I'm running late, which I won't be, maybe five minutes, what's the best number so I can call and text you and let you know I'm running late so you're not trying to kill yourself? Uh, cool, my mobile number's 555-555-555. Perfect. Hey, if you're running late, which is perfectly okay, but we've, we've been slammed, is there any way you can just let me know that you're running late so I can continue to work with that person in front of you, finishing up their lease? You can reach me at 303-803-7372. Absolutely. They'll never be late to a, a, a scheduled tour again, right? We gotta break it down to, all you have to know is, what research have they done on you, okay? Because they may tell you, my friend Todd lives there, He's in 107, I know Maddie's his next door neighbor in 109, she's moving out, I want her apartment. Hold on, let me check. Oh yeah, 109, I got it right here. I need to check with my maintenance team, see when they can get that unit ready. Um, does it make sense for me to send over the application so you can get started on that right now? Yeah, absolutely, what's your best email to send it to? It's amazing, when you ask these questions that I teach you to ask, how, Oftentimes we just get in the way of our, we, you don't need to have a 20 minute conversation with somebody about their apartment. Great, great question. The way people rent apartments has changed. Today's renter has access to more information. Today's renter has more choices. The apartment industry needs you. Studies have shown that moving is the most stressful life event. The old sales training, well it just doesn't work today. I'd like to teach you how to take the stress out of leasing apartments in a way that's meaningful to you and your renters and get you seven times more leases. I'll show you how the perfect leasing process works. I'm gonna walk you through everything from answering the phone to closing the lease. I'm gonna show you how to determine your prospects' wants and their needs so that you can build value in your apartments. You will learn how to handle any objection or complaint. I'm gonna show you how to connect with your renter so it's easy for them to rent with you. I've taught the best property management companies and thousands of people just like you how to lease apartments. Property management is complicated. I'll simplify it for you. There's more competition than ever before. I'm gonna show you how to be number one. All of a sudden, your career, it's gonna make perfect sense. Even if you've never worked in sales or property management before. And for the advanced property manager, I'm gonna show you how to take things to the next level. Leasing University is a new, simple, step-by-step -step process that's effective. We're gonna help you become a rock star in property management. I'm Matt Easton, and this is Leasing University.